Hey, this is Kevin with Custom Micro, and you may be wondering, what is all this? Is it Christmas? Almost, but we're going to talk today about a huge phone deployment. Let's do it. We don't just review network switches. We're a managed service provider providing solutions for a wide gamut of technology needs. We have a customer that has six offices in two states, and they're tired of pouring money down the drain with their traditional phone solution. So we're going to get them up to the modern era, set them up with a free PBX server in the cloud. We have a total of 57 SIP devices that will go with these six different locations. In the past, when we've done free PBX deployments, I've used the S-series Sangoma phones. Well, those are out. The new P-series are in. This is a complete P-series deployment, except for the conference phone, some ATAs. We have a total of four of the P370s over here on this side that have the full touch screen, support Android apps. We have the P330. We have a total of eight of those right here. We have 27 of the P325s. And then we have 10 of the P315s. These phones are all gonna you know, support different needs of different users. It's worth mentioning the only one of these devices that officially supports the wall mount kit is the P315. So if you need to have a phone wall mounted, you'll need to go with the lower end 315. They all have different numbers of soft key buttons. Um, and with the case of the touch screen, you get the benefit of having third party applications. We also have right here, the decked wireless set and its base station. We have three of those that will go at three of the different locations. Over here we have some Plantronics decked wireless headsets. And then we have our Grandstream ATAs for some of the faxing purposes at these locations. Because this customer has six locations in two states, we thought it best to set them up a cloud solution. So we spun up FreePBX and Vulture. The benefit of Vulture is you can use your own custom ISOs. So we were able to use the official FreePBX ISO. That gives us the benefit of being able to use the official commercial modules and not have any hiccups or snags or issues with doing that. Now we started off with the starter bundle, which includes Sysadmin Pro, Extension Routing, Conference Pro, Fax Pro, Paging Pro, and Park Pro. This customer also has a very mobile workforce, so we're including a total of 40 licenses for Sangoma Connect so they can have the Sangoma Connect app on their mobile device. There's also a Sangoma Connect app for the desktop as well. The first step is we need to get all these Sangoma P-Series devices added into our Sangoma portal so we can go through and set up one-touch provisioning. Now keep in mind with one-touch provisioning on the P-Series or Digium-based phones, you need to make sure in FreePBX you go in and enable DPMA. It's very important to do that. It's under Endpoint Manager Global and then there's an option that says use DPMA. You don't need that to zero touch provision the S-series phones. So if you're familiar with those, this will be a new step you'll have to do in order to provision these P-series devices. Okay, it's time for the next step. We're gonna get all these Sangoma P-series phones imported into the Sangoma portal, which will allow us to do zero touch provisioning. That'll save us a ton of time later when we're ready to deploy these phones. First thing we do is in the Sangoma portal, Underneath my products, Sangoma phones, there is a phone import wizard. As far as I'm aware of, it doesn't allow you to import an Excel spreadsheet, but it does allow you to put in MAC addresses separated by commas in a list. The trick is using a barcode scanner. So you can scan the MAC address off the box, comma, scan the next MAC address, comma, etc., until you get all your phones imported into the portal. So let's demonstrate that. I'm going to go ahead and scan my first MAC address. Very easy. Comma. Scan my second MAC address. Comma. One thing that I noticed in the browser is every time you scan with the barcode scanner, you have to click back in the field so you can type a comma, which is kind of aggravating. But this is still much faster and much safer than trying to manually enter these MAC addresses. I'm going to continue and finish up these P315 models. We have 10 of those, and we'll move on to our other models. Okay, we're back. 
We've got all of our P315 phones imported into the Sangoma portal. It was relatively straightforward. We used the import wizard. Just note, when you use the import wizard, it does not automatically associate those phones with your free PBX deployment. When you create a new free PBX deployment, you have to activate that deployment, which will then associate it with your Sangoma portal. Once that's done, you can then associate your phones with that same deployment ID, and you can also set up your redirect. The way I recommend doing that is you can set up your redirect for your zero touch provisioning at your deployment ID level or your deployment free PBX server level. And then every time a phone is associated with that deployment ID, it will get those same redirect settings. Well, we got a lot more phones to scan in, so we'll catch you in a little while. Okay, we have our plethora of P-Series Sangoma phones imported into the Sangoma portal. Our next step is to create users and extensions in FreePBX and map those extensions to the MAC address of our devices. Because we've set up that redirect in the Sangoma portal, that zero-touch provisioning will make it super simple. We wanted to show you more today, but because these phones are going into a production environment with a real customer, we left all the scenes of the Sangoma portal out for now. But if you would like to see more about that, maybe configuration guides for FreePBX, leave a comment down below and we'll try to squeeze those into future videos. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe, click the bell icon to be notified every time we put out a new video. This has been Kevin with Custom Micro and we'll see you next time.